Well, it's been turbulent skies for South Africa's airliners. Uh, Mango's in a mess. The low-cost fly has been grounded for much of the week. Mango says it owes money to air traffic and navigation services, and it's now filing for business rescue. Its financial books reportedly reveal the airliner last turned a profit in 2018. Aviation expert Dr. Guy Leach is no doubt watching this one. He joins us live from Hoodsprate. Uh, Dr. Mango Airlines uh, suddenly halted its flights, I think it was on Monday, not paying ATNS. They must have known for some time that they were in severe debt. Hi, Guy, I'm the, the yeah, issue better. is that no, the, this is not the first time it's happened. The, um, the airline's been grounded twice recently, or well, in recently in the past six months for lack of payment of basic fees to service providers, either ATNS, the air traffic navigation service providers, or AXA, the airport company. So they've been in, in dire straits. Well, obviously since before the lockdown, but now it's come to a head, and particularly with the lack of delivery of the 819 or so million rand that was promised to them, and in fact enabled by an act of parliament, which is now still being held up. You've got intel with all things aviation related, Guy. Any idea of where they're going to get the money from to pay for uh, those services and get them up in the sky again? Well, the answer to that question lies in the move into business rescue, which is why the unions have been pushing so hard. I see now reports today indicate that there's now an argument brewing between the unions who had launched an application for business rescue on Monday, um, actually on Friday, and uh, SAA, which is trying to control the process itself. Um, so exactly how that move into business rescue unfolds, uh, we don't know, but the DPE is at least sticking to its guns in saying that we're not going to release the funds until we know how you're going to use them. Um, and uh, honestly, the reality is that 819 million may address at least some of the immediate short-term problems uh, with people and uh, crews not having been paid, but it's not going to be enough to make the airline sustainable, get it back on its feet. Guys, something that uh, I think about sometimes is how do you get private partnerships willing to come in and help SAA uh, and uh, domestic airlines such as Lyft starting up in these very difficult economic times and with the pandemic? Well, Lyft is the very interesting wrinkle in the whole, uh, uh, <laughs> what should we say, tapestry of this thing, because uh, Mango falls under SAA, and SAA is now in theory about to become part of the Takatsu uh, Strategic Equity Partner Consortium, and which already owns and operates Lyft. So um, we'll now have two airlines, Lyft on the one hand and Mango on the other hand, competing in the same space. That doesn't make a lot of sense. So there's a very real fear that uh, SAA will, or the Department of Public Enterprises will use this whole process to simply um, close Mango down, uh, possibly uh, liquidate it, and let Lyft be the um, operator going forward. That, however, is pending a due diligence investigation. We don't know how long that's going to take um, by the Dakota Consortium to see whether the whole SAA strategic equity partnership will even go ahead. I think that the important thing to bear in mind though, that is that this thing doesn't resolve quickly. Um, in August, a, a date has now been set down for the liquidation hearing of Mango by one of the leasors. Uh, and uh, that will pull the whole house of cards down. You're not very bullish about Mango getting up in the skies anytime soon. What about those ticket holders? Will they be given a refund? I mean, can we even can they even afford to give them a refund? Okay, let me just balance the downside with the potential upside. Government has shown an incredible determination, an extraordinarily an absurd determination to keep SAA going at all costs. And SA, if SAA continues, there's a very good case to be made for continuing Mango because SAA needs a domestic carrier. And these days, there's really not much demand for a full services carrier like an SAA with a business class on the domestic routes. So th there's a strong case to be made that if SAA continues, 
mango must continue. So hopefully that balances it, balances it, a, it a little bit. Um, but um, either, where, where, where do we go for, to from here? Um, uh, it's, it's very hard to tell at this stage because the immediate uh, need is to simply pay salaries and to try and keep the airline going on the short term. Thank you so much. That was aviation expert Dr. Guy Leach on Mango Airlines, which is still not flying.